Caitlin. And I'm Roslyn. And, and this, this is Pluto News. <laughs> okay, breaking news is that Pearl Harbor has been attacked and America is now entering the war. Men have been drafted off to the war due to the Pearl Harbor bombing. 18 million women are now women are now in the workforce because of the war adding about 6 million women to the workforce. Dr. Maverick with more on the subject. Thank you. And here we have Madeline Eaton who has been negatively affected by the war. Madeline, can you please explain to us your situation? Yes. So, when Pearl Harbor was happening, my husband got drafted and it put a really big toll on my family. Oh, I'm very sorry for that. And how has it affected your family? Well, since I'm a mother of eight kids, I've had to watch them all without a husband there to do the manly chores. Alright, and how are the chores? Who works in your family then? Well, I have my oldest work and my youngest watch the baby. I see. That must be tough. It, oh, I'm not late for my next job. Oh, well... I guess that's all the time we have. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Maverick. Women came across many hardships. Wages for women were less than what the average man made. Another hardship for women were double shifts, where they had to work all day and then come home and take care of their houses and their children. 13,000 women registered to fight in the war in the first day of the registration. Now Sierra with more of the subject. Women make up only 18% of the military. The equipment is not fitting for women, and most clothes are too big for them, even at the smallest size. Women in the military also have to deal with doctors who have little experience treating women. This makes it hard for them to be in the military. Thank you for that, Sierra. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Pluto News! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Are we sliding down?